We're Ulla and Josh, and we swapped the conventional four walls of our home by the sea for the adventure of living on a 60-foot narrowboat. Join us as we slow down and settle into our new life, travelling by water through the British countryside. Last weekend, me and Ulla went to visit my 95-year-old granddad. We were telling stories, as you do, reminiscing about the good times. And we brought up fishing. He was the one that taught me to fish when I was a little boy. At the end of the day, he gifted me his fishing rod, the one that he taught me to fish with. So now, being on the canal, I would be absolutely crazy not to give this thing a whirl. So let's take it out. I want to see how it works. I'm not fully committing into it. I just want to take it out and just have a nice time. Here's the little beauty look, guys. <laughs> this is gorgeous little case. But yeah, I thought I'd give it a whirl. I've just been digging around, rooting around on the ground, really, just as a trial. I haven't gone to the great lengths of going to a bait shop and getting bait and kitting myself out properly. I'm just gonna take the kit for a whirl. some carp and things in here, let's see if they like some worms. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing guys. <laughs> Just really enjoying using my granddad's setup. It's very peaceful anyway, isn't it, being out here? Oh yeah, I'm enjoying it. This is a really nice evening for us actually. Being very present with what you're doing. Yeah, just listening to the birds. absolutely gorgeous being out here on evenings like this when the sun is getting lower in the sky and it's super peaceful and you can see the hawthorn is in bloom and then we've got horse chestnut over here looking very beautiful there in the reflection as well it's absolutely gorgeous and then here again you can see so much hawthorn looking forward to later this year when I can do a bit of berry foraging hawthorn is one of my favorite plants ever to forage fantastic medicine for the heart. I am actually really enjoying this, despite not having any nibbles whatsoever. I am actually really keen on doing this a bit more. So if you guys are into your fishing and you know what to do, you've got some advice you want to share, please let me know. I, I presume I'm even sticking out here. The fish can see me, you know, anything to camouflage myself is even necessary. <laughs> Bait, I'm using worms like I showed you earlier. Line setup, is it better to fly fish here, float fish? Teach me guys. The next day we took a bit more slowly. We went for a walk in the hustle and bustle of nature before coming home to water the plants we'd been growing on the roof and then got to some video editing in preparation for our big cruising day in the morning.
This episode is sponsored by Aura Health. After serving over a decade in the armed forces, my mental health and well-being started to become a priority for me. So I took myself backpacking around the world for two years where I discovered yoga and meditation. Ever since then, I've been fascinated in mental health, but I've never known where to start. I recently discovered an app called Aura. Aura Health is the first all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep. It has thousands of meditations, stories, breath work, and so much more like cognitive behavioral therapy, coaching, and hypnotherapy. Aura's content is created by hundreds of expert therapists around the world. My favorite thing about this app is the sheer variety that it has. One evening I can try out hypnotherapy followed by a sleepy adult story for bed. Or I can even enroll in a guided program to help with stress relief. Guys, if you're sitting at home now watching this and you're thinking, that's not for me. In all honesty, I was exactly the same. But since I've been exploring the different things on the app, I've actually found some really great stuff for me. I can genuinely recommend giving this a try for yourself for free. Click the link on the screen now or find the details in the description box below. After being waylaid with work commitments, we were finally able to explore the canal network. We were on our way and it felt bloody good. Decide to head east, leaving familiar ground. This is actually really cool because we are headed back to where it all started, aren't we? Yeah, we keep going. It's pretty Soon nostalgic. We'll be on pastures new, won't we? Yeah. Trudging on new lands that we've never seen before. That's how it's supposed to be. We're passing through this landscape that when we did last time, it was not as green as it is now. You know, all of the trees had no leaves on them, and now it's just green everywhere you look. It's just beautiful. Totally different in the summer, isn't it? So much so that we're just treaded water. I'm getting really chuffed with the progress of cruising the boat, you know, just a lot more practice. So yeah, just hovering around, didn't go into the sides, and then there's another boat coming through a little bottleneck, so just reversed back a bit. Ah, oh, no worries, it's easy, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. It's a nice feeling. Oh, yeah. Lovely feeling, the progress. Just bumped into yet again some more friends along here. It's so Hello, hello. Sarge. Sarge, he's a legend. He's got himself an absolute sweet spot there. Proper setup. We we're going to stop, but we really want to make some more ground, don't we? Nice to see familiar faces along the long pound. Really nice. Good to see you all. Feels like we know a lot of people along here now. Loads of people now. It's so cool. <laughs> Community, babe. You can still get it on the move.
pirate ship right there. As you can see guys, we've, there's a lot of boats buttying up. It's quite busy today at the water point, so probably going to be here the next few hours waiting, so we'll uh, use that as a bit of an admin time. Get rid of the toilets, clean up a little bit, obviously fill up with water when we can, get rid of the bins, you know, that type of thing. So uh, yeah, utilise our time wisely. And just like that, he slipped away. That was quite effortless, wasn't it? The guy slipping away. Mm. Right, here we go. Let's flush it through first. Dirty hose, clean it out. Might have too many kinks in it. We're good. Let's reset our little water meter. Reset. I'll go put it in and then I'll let you know when to turn it on. Right, you are. Beastie solar panels. Next up on the job to-do list. Sort these swan hatches out so we can get rid of the horrible tarpaulins. Oh, comes up my end. And she's off. So with the little bit of hot water we have left in the boat, I'm going to take a quick shower and freshen up. <laughs> because it's uh, about time. <laughs> we have a wedding to get to, don't we? My beautiful cousin is getting married. I'm so, so excited to see this. Really happy. So uh, yeah, this will be out in a few weeks, probably after the wedding. But um, when you see this, I love you, Emma. Congratulations on your marriage. Tom is an absolute catch. Beautiful man. <laughs> One of the jobs I want to do whilst we're on the hard standing is tidy this area up. Make it look a bit more presentable again, organized. It's our anchor, guys. Gonna give this a good old sweep out, good old tidy up. Lay this down as well, make it nice and tidy. We took this up for the winter because when it was raining a lot and we had a lot of water on there, it was basically just keeping the water on top. But thankfully the summer is coming so we're having less water now. So it'll be lovely to walk on and sort things out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna crack on with some other jobs and uh, see you guys in a bit when we've got a full tank. we go. Feeling super fresh from my shower, finally washed my hair. <laughs> and I'm actually going to head off to the farm shop at Honey Street to pick up some yummy things for lunch and some juice. Just ultimately see what they've got available at the moment because whenever we're passing through spaces, uh, local spots, we like to support local business obviously. Now we've got some water, we're going to get some food and then keep going. Here we are, look, full, 173 gallons. That's what we like to see. Lovely jubbly. will probably remember this spot from a few months back when we were traveling through in the opposite direction since we've changed plans obviously we're going back the way we came before we make a decision for the winter <laughs> It's a bit nicer, isn't it? A bit more organised. So, some crunchy peanut butter, some sausage rolls, scone for later. Woo! Already got myself an orange juice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Raspberry lemonade. 
uh, and in true Allure and Josh fashion. I have a meeting in 20 minutes for a commercial job I have coming up. I a job. And Josh is on the roof. We're about to pull off from the water point. It's a super windy day, so he's going to be on his own up there. Hopefully he manages to film some things for you to see, as I think it could be quite comical. But he's on his own, baby. I mean, I've got to stay in here. I'm sitting here at my laptop at the moment, preparing for the shoot and for the meeting about the shoot. So, yeah. yeah. in time. It's a quick meeting. I remember that hill. So this was the spot we thought we were going to moor at and uh, we can't even get anywhere close to the bank because of the silt. So we've run aground, Josh has got the barge pole out and we're going to try and push ourselves away and keep going. Show me how shallow. Ho ho! It's getting somewhere. So you're going to go through that bridge up there in the distance. After what seemed to be an easy push out of a sticky situation, we finally got ourselves a lovely mooring. Oof, we're hanging pretty low in the water, they're sitting low. We've got a full tank of water and we've actually got quite, oh, we've got a full tank of diesel as well, so we're very low at the moment. Right, I better help him pull it in. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode and a massive thank you to everybody who bought us a tea this week. We really, really appreciate your support. Lots of love.